There's a phrase hidden on my on my album that is kind of left for the fans to to find and to discover, and I say, "Forever cursed are the observant, forever slave to the detail." Um, and I think that that's a a pretty good reflection of how what it's like for me to be you know a person and to be a friend and to be a lover and to be a daughter and a, a coworker, but to also be a writer. Because being a writer is is almost like a different breed of human. You pay closer attention to things, things affect you more than they would affect other people. Sometimes you have a higher level of empathy. So this idea of you know personal connections and power struggles and what it's like for me going through my life and experiencing these different relationships as I grow and as I change is definitely a central theme. I, as a writer, write about people. Um, I can't write about anything else because there's really nothing more interesting than the people around you. And when you're a writer, you feel a certain responsibility to, I like to say, immortalize you know, the, the things in your life that have affected you and the people in your life that have affected you. And, you know, for me, it's, it's become my job to immortalize certain people and certain events in my life through song. It's therapeutic. It's, it's writing about things and breaking them down is, is it's like making a very pretty pros and cons list. But most of the songs on the record I wrote in, within 30 minutes. And I start and then I don't stop. I don't Frankenstein songs. I refuse to Frankenstein songs. Say this verse is good with this chorus and this, because then you lose the, the organic nature of this, this feeling that was, was, was instant and spilled out of me. Like I wouldn't want to do that. I would want every song to just be one shot. And so that's, that's pretty much how I, how I try to keep, keep my writing. But I like doing co-writes too. I like writing with other people. Um, but I'm a pretty introverted person. I've kind of tapped into this as my, my exercise and my therapy in, in, in looking back and realizing after I've written a song about someone, maybe I really didn't like them so much at all because the things that I have to write about aren't really nice. But at the end of the day, you know, I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to figure myself out and figure my life out through writing. And I'm just very fortunate that people like the, uh, the aftermath of my psychotherapy and want to listen to those records. Mm -hmm.